Build it and they'll come or will they? What you most need to know, then, is how to build that small niche site. To reiterate, the purpose of this site is to develop a very consumer-specific website that provides information and resources for the person who is looking to buy a product of this type. That's from the buyer's perspective. But you have search engines to please, too, so that content will need to do double duty and also help you be found and ranked well for your target keywords and target audience. There are two basic components to these small sites. Those are, 1. Articles and buyer-centric information, 2. Products The pages of your website will be split amongst these two components. It probably should not be a straight 50 50 split. The division should be weighted more in favor of information than products. This will serve two purposes, one information gives the buyer all the supporting information and details they need to decide to buy. Two information provides more feed for search engines so that buyers can find you. However you decide to structure the actual website, it should have a simple division information and products. The product pages are simple. Create a page for each individual product that gives the specifics on the product, often the information provided by the affiliate. You need to give enough detail without overdoing it. Set up the product pages so that when the visitor performs the desired action clicks a buy button or opts for a free sample or service they are taken to the affiliate website, where they, hopefully, will order and purchase your product. The informational pages require a little bit more work, but not too much. Each of these pages should host one piece of supporting information which helps your visitor decide to buy. It should be an article, product review, or product comparison. As you'll learn later, these are the things that will really draw the very specific and targeted ready-to-buy consumers that you want. This is the information that they are looking for just prior to purchase, and so it is the information that is most likely to net serious buyers, and not just curious visitors. Back to our example, if we have 5 muscle building supplements, we'll have 5 pages of products and perhaps 10 pages with articles and comparisons. Use the articles to address the concerns of people in the market for supplements, and include topics important to them. They might be side-by-side -side comparisons, reviews of specific powders, or topics such as 5 tips for building more muscle. Now you've given your already needy buyers the two things they need to decide to buy your product's additional information, and the place to make the purchase. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.